Okay guys, Balian back here from this morning. Um, I was looking at this and I've, I've got so many tutorials to do based on this little action. So simple uh, beginning, middle, end and it's a cycle basically. Notice right now, as I mentioned earlier, my key poses are here, beginning and end. The middle is somewhere here where it's an extreme. So these are two extremes, beginning and end. And then um, computer helped me, Maya helped me here, but I had to kind of uh, fix the pose the way I want to. Okay, I may even uh, rotate this part of the knee out a bit so it goes in that direction, which is fine. And I'm just going to concentrate on this part here. Look, it's not a moving hold. It's not a hold. That's not my intent. It's like when you snap a kick, you want it to go completely fast. So I want you guys to remember um, let me draw something on the screen here. Perhaps I can show it this way. Um, let's let's create a key right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it anyway. Let's do this, okay? And I'll go in red. And you guys know when we did the bouncing ball. Okay, we drew. Um, okay, let me just show. Where is it? Grease pencil. Okay. So let's say we had a ball here. It drops right, and it hits here. Maybe a squash, maybe not. However, in the graph editor, we did this. All right, let me just move this out of the way. In the graph editor, we had the ball starting here, and we had this coming and going and doing this kind of business. Right? We're not interested in that, are we? Okay. Uh, let me go back. I may lose my position. What we actually wanted to do is the second stage of the movement was simply this. We came in, and uh, maybe we 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 kind of ease out here slowly and then really 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 sharp here let me get this eraser tool here bye um, bye you guys let's just do that from here back to one of these so what we want to do is gradually come in here and have this sharp sharp and then gradually come up here so it could, the ball can hang okay so let's pretend that it's here so you see it's an ease out sharp in right here that's what we want okay so remember we had this kind of ball you know, it hangs up here, goes accelerates super fast, accelerates back up. That's what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to erase this, say bye to grease pencil, back to that. That's out. Okay, so let's look at our graph editor, shall we? And I, again, I'm not loving this hovering business right here between six and probably 10. Okay, so I'm just going to select that. And you guys know uh, at the moment I have uh, panels, uh, layouts, two panes stacked right here. That's what I did. Right, and I, just, I chose this one to be orthographic side view. Let's get rid of that right now. Uh, and here I chose panel, uh, panel graph editor. That's what I did, okay? So you can see panel, I went to graph editor. That's just a review. Okay, so let's, let's focus on that little range between six and 10, okay? So look at that, boom, boom. So notice that the toe is kind of rotating up here. I also, what else do we know? Let's hold Option down, press the period key, go boom, boom. There's lots of little movements within within four frames. So again, I'm not doing a hold, but I do want it to be snappy from here. So let's look, boom, boom, and like that. So let's spin around because in this, uh, as you guys know, in game animation or even feature, it's best encouraged to view your character in multiple uh, angles. Okay, so I'm looking here, I see these little changes. So if I run a play blaster, it's gonna be an issue here. Like, look at that, oh boy. And it's like a fraction of a second, but I won't be happy with that, okay? So that part right there, I'm holding option period here and option comma to come back, okay? Look at that. Okay, so um, should we do a play blast? Not right now, okay, so let's just see this. Okay, so again, notice if I just press play, I don't feel a snap. It's pretty fast, and I'm noticing it's uh, slowly accelerating and then hitting the point. So just like the the ball bounce. Okay, so let's let's go. Let's get in here. All right. So translate. So that's the movement. Okay. Like right now, this is X right here. The yellow Z is that one. So let's just go with Z first. Okay. So let's see what's happening here. As you guys know, right here, um, starting at frame one, which is there. I don't mind frame one to two, easing out, but two to three, and by the time we hit four, we're doing a nice turn here, and then we're gonna take off to, this is the right here. So it's really two frames from there. The tuck, the 
tuck here, right? From here to there to that extreme is two frames. Boom. And then we're kind of holding it there for four frames. One, two, three, four, like that. And there's too much movement. So what I want to do, I want to start by changing things here. Okay, in the graph editor. Let's see this function curve here. Let's see, I can zoom out by holding option right click like that. Okay. So let's see what's happening between three and four, right there, right here. And I'm noticing there's a bit of a, it's not sharp. So we know the bouncing ball had those issues, right? We want to make this sharp. What if I select the linear here? Look what happens. So it's really quick. You're not going to see it. But notice that that's a full acceleration here. There's no change. Okay. So between four and six, let's look at this. So this part, there's a, look at that, there's an ease in to the next one. This one eased out fast, so it's a fast out. And this is a slow in, so we don't want that. We want this to be, like if I go like that, okay, linear, and then I'm going to play around here, look what's going to happen here. That's not cool, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is break the tangent. You guys know this. Break the tangent right here. There's the elbow, okay? So this is cool. And if I, like, I, I guess at this point, I want to break it on the other side as well and just bring it here. So I'm just doing a hold right now for the sake of this situation here. Okay? So what's happened at this point, you can see here, that we are snapping our kick out. Boom. Again, boom. And then notice, like, there's still movement, right? So that must be the other axes. So I'm just going to come over here so you guys can see that. So it must be Y. So let's go to Y next and see again. See these soft curves? Ease out, ease in, craziness, right? So right off the bat, if you want, just break the tangents. Here, you want to, you can, like right here, this one, we can break uh, the tangent and just go boom, sharp. Look at this, down here, independent. Uh, this one comes, let's just do a hold for now and we'll talk about the other side after, okay? I'm just gonna, boom, look at that. There's a hold, so I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see this. So I want this to be perfectly flat. That means no change. And remember, it's really, uh, I will have a bit of change later, but for now, this is pretty cool. All right, let's go back to here, between three here. When it comes like that, I want it to be sharp, right? So let's see here. This, uh, let's go linear not bad what about this one here we broke the tangents great so now we'll just make this sharp see so it goes up like that and sharp into this and then we'll go sharp out right there so we'll look at our snap boom and then do we have any changes here yep still movement so let's go to X and we're gonna work our way down to rotations okay so again three and four between three and four where we tuck we want to make this sharp and you can by just pressing this right here, linear tangent, not bad. But we want this part and that part to be independent. So notice that the elbow isn't, the joint isn't broken. So let's break the tangents again here. So what I can do is start from the top, come down, holding. Again, I'm, I need to clarify here. What I'm doing right now is pressing option middle scroll down to pen. And I'm selecting this and holding shift. You don't have to right now, right? Sometimes I, um, if I move something up and down, I'll hold the middle scroll with shift, okay? So look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so let's fix this. And I'm, uh, once I highlight it, that's when I get my middle scroll down and I move it, okay? Like that. And there it is, like that. Not bad. That's pretty good. So now let's look at the snap. Boom. Any movements? Yeah, probably rotation. So let's work our way down. Press E. Okay, so I, I'm going to start with Z. I'm not going to work. Okay, so we can see here, frame three. It's like a, okay, two to three. And I'm going to make this again. Uh, let's go, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so three to four. Boom, quick. Here, rotation. Again, I can keep this snappy as well. Come over here and let's do linear. But, oh, not bad. That one worked. And we're going to go four to six and keep that one as linear as well. Okay, but now we're going to break the tangent because we want this side to come over here like that. Not bad. I'll leave this like this for now, okay? Look, this, this is kind of the secret of moving hold kind of thing. We can do that, but we'll come back, like I said. Okay, check out Y. Oh, yeah, look at that here. This is kind of nice here. Linear, excellent. 
I can go linear here if I want. It's so subtle. Um, that's zero, so don't worry about it. So here we are. You always come down and look at where you are. Sometimes try to, okay, between three and four, um, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Here is where we have, uh, yeah, it's it's like, okay, really, it's the Z, really. Okay, so let's just make this sharp, too, if we want, okay? Uh, done. I'm going to hit this one like that as well. Break to tangent and go linear. Look at that. Okay, here, break to tangent. Right there, boom, linear. Okay, so I can have this ease out like that. But again, this doesn't matter right now because it's really um, the Z and the X, okay? Okay, so let's go to X, fix things out. Okay, starting from 1, ch -ch 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 -ch, turning E, it's this way into the tucking it to the body right okay so we'll come in here let's go linear this one we can break boom come up here like that and that one subtle moves afterwards we'll deal with that later and then I have to break this one as well and here it is okay so uh, let's go through here there's a bit of movement which is fine because we don't we want a kind of a moving hold so now let's do a little moving hold okay Okay, it's between 6 and 10, and then it comes back, right? So here it is. So there's two frames to tuck, and then another three frames to come back, and then from here we settle like that. Okay, it's not a perfect settle, but we're doing a one-second animation. You imagine the amount of work we've put in here. Okay, so let's come in here. Now, let's go E. So you know right now this is Z, right? So watch here. If I go down to Z right here, and... Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it down a touch. I'm going to bring this one down a touch. Look. See? So now watch the movement here. There's a bit of movement. Not bad, eh? So that's like a moving hold. So very, very subtle. So let's go. That's Z. We can do that for Y. We want, again, really, really subtle. Just a touch. Right there. Just a bit here. Just a bit here like that and again I am not coming out like that I'm bringing this subtle see out of the moving hold I'm going so, like just ease out and ease in to the next one so we're only dealing the first half over here up to frame 10 okay let's check out X which is the tuck in as I said to you guys just gently notice what I usually like to do is put my mouse here between 6 and 10 and watch the change here okay so look so you notice up here, notice up here the changes as I'm doing this, look. So look, if you scrub across here. And it's so subtle right now. Uh, I can tell you right now that a martial artist will say, don't even do that, keep it sharp. I can't. Okay, so maybe we'll just do one axis like that, okay? Because we know we want the snap to be direct. So there you go, I made it even more subtle now. So boom. So there's a bit of a tuck, there's a bit of movement in the Z. If I want to reduce it even more, I can come in here, come in there, even less. Okay, notice how we're coming out. There's no sharp, there's no sharp back, okay? So that means on the way down, we're not doing um, linear, okay? We're easing out, okay? So now let's watch what's happened here. Click out, uh, show, get rid of NURB curves, and let's watch this here. Let's see the kick. That's all we're paying attention to, okay? So let's watch, boom. So the kick's becoming a little sharper, much sharper, beautiful. I have a lot more to do. I'm going to have to come back and deal with the uh, wrist. Uh, I'm going to check the head and check the body weight. And I, again, like, geez, just look. Slowly, I love that tuck right here. Boom. And get ready to extend. See that squash here? Extend. I oh, love it. I can... I could possibly, like right now, this, this weight needs to be back more. So look at this show, nerve curves. I'm looking at this here. If I press W, and now this is going to be scary here. Let's see if I can just bring this. But Okay, so if I'm going to make major changes like this, a couple things I need to control. The waist, obviously, mid control here. I want to go to both wrists. Okay, and then let's move them all back a touch. So it really needs to be like this and this needs to come back to make this really work. See? Now I'm, I'm leaning. I could go even further back, further back that way. But that's not bad. So what I'll do now is I'll, um, let me just see. Boom. Yeah. Wow. That kind of works. <laughs> it's even better. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. Okay, guys, I think this is enough to get you started. I'll add more details. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do a, um, a demo where I will only show you the key poses, and then I'll show you how I got to my breakdowns after. Okay, and then here, here, and boom. So it's got this one back to here, tuck, uh, tuck, kind of here, back, and here, and that. Okay, so slowly kick, reach out. We kind of push people that when we do that extend there. I like that. I like that a lot more. Okay, I hope this helps. Uh, let's see where we are. How much time do we have? Oh, wow, 15, 16 minutes. Okay, Bellion out. Thank you for watching this, and I hope you take notes, okay?